Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is How Do I Convert Frequency to Meters? Frequency, typically denoted by the lowercase letter f, has units of 1 over seconds, if we're going to use MKS SI units. This is equivalent to the unit of hertz, by definition. This is not equal to meters, so if you want to convert frequency that has units of hertz to a unit of distance that has units of meters, you need a conversion factor. And this conversion factor is the velocity. So the velocity of, say, a traveling wave is equal to the wavelength of that oscillatory signal, of that wave, times the frequency. So if I consider a function of time, as a sine wave here, this sine wave will have a certain frequency. So in the time domain, the distance between two peaks in time is equal to the period. And the frequency is defined as 1 over the period. So therefore, if I know the velocity of my traveling wave, I can determine the wavelength in meters, and thus I can convert from frequency to meters. So let's say that I have a velocity for my wave of 100 meters per second, and the frequency is equal to 50 hertz. If I look at this equation, I can manipulate it and get out lambda by dividing my velocity by my frequency. So in this particular example, my wavelength will be equal to 100 meters per second divided by 50 hertz, or 50 1 over seconds. The 1 over seconds will cancel out, and I'll be left with 100 divided 50, which is equal to 2 meters. So in short, I can convert from frequency units meaning hertz or 1 over seconds, to meters by using a conversion factor, which is the velocity in this case of a traveling oscillatory signal, a wave. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is How Do I Convert Frequency to Meters?